glad to be here again. Can you believe it's been almost two years since we were here? It's amazing, but it is certainly good to be back. We are intentionally starting tonight with a small concert just to test the waters. We really didn't know what kind of state we were going to be in when we were planning all this. So we're glad you're here this evening. You're exactly what we need to bring new life into this place. And always, always, I want to thank each and every one of you, all of you, for supporting the Academy during these very difficult and trying times. We could not have done it without you. And please, please, and I'm guilty of it too, uh, don't forget to become a member for this coming year. Information is inside your program or ask the person next to you, their members. The Trinity Music Academy truly, truly makes a difference in the lives of the young people in this county and in this entire region. When you think about sports in Montgomery County, I know it's an old story that I've told over and over, but we have more young people that come through this academy than participate in JV and varsity sports, boys and girls combined in this county. This is a big academy. Now I want to introduce Sophia. It is a great honor and privilege to have Sophia here in little old Troy. I do not exaggerate when I say that she has single-handedly put the Academy on the international, worldwide music map. Sophia's music, much of it written right here, has now been performed throughout Ukraine, across Europe, and from coast to coast in both Canada and the United States. And even in the year 2021, only an infinitesimal percentage of new music that is presented on the classical music world stages has been written by women. Sophia and the Academy are literally changing that number as a result of this concert series. Here in Troy and on tour, Sophia's music is far and away our biggest draw with audiences. The extremely varied body of work that Sophia has produced now places her on equal footing with some of the all-time greats like Chopin, Faure, and Debussy. She has to her credit now two piano concertos, an oratorio, and a symphony, along with more than 1,000 other smaller works and collections. Currently, Sophia is working on three operas simultaneously, including a new commission by the Lost Colony Foundation celebrating England's first attempted landing colony in the New World here in North Carolina. On a personal note, I will say that watching a composer actually composing three operas right in front of you is a sight that simply defies all comprehension. And don't worry, we'll be hearing some small excerpts from one of those new operas tonight, the one with the Vikings in it. Tonight, out of practicality, our forces have to be very limited. So this is a night of nothing but song. And only a composer of Sophia's stature could say, no problem, I've got enough. Sophia is joined by the absolutely spectacular voices of Corey Loveless, Jeff Waltney, and the incomparable John Fowler, who honors Sophia with his presence here tonight. Jeff has been in Germany and is coming back here via Florida. None of us will ever forget Jeff flying to us through a volcanic ash cloud to get here from Belgium, just the same for Sophia. Corey, on the other hand, is planning on going to Germany and has come south from Washington, D.C. to be here. This is not her first concert with either Sophia or here in Troy. She's officially an Academy favorite now, but it is her first live concert here at the Academy. So we welcome here to this stage live for the first time. And John is at the point in his career where it would be just an unbelievable honor to have him just come and listen from the audience. John has literally appeared on every major opera stage in the world throughout the course of his career. He continues to be very kind-hearted and gracious by regularly allowing us to exploit him, his talents, and drag him out onto our little stage. Plus, even he can't say no to Sophia. 
Now, we're not going to let Sophia off the hook. We're all here to hear her play the piano. The first piece that she's going to play for us tonight is one of her all-time favorites. It's Sunrises at the Ocean. It was inspired by sunrises at Topsail Beach Dam on the Outer Banks. There is a small poem that goes along with this work. Behold the glory of eternal beauty of the skies. All life is holy, and his sacred flow will never die.
take us into the magical and mythical universe of the literary figure, the austere warrior. It examines that world and it examines the life cycle of love there.
of the composer's heart. Is it about the agony and the ecstasy of being in love, or is it a rehearsal of pain for the agony and ecstasy of composing art? <laughs> She is a pure-blooded descendant of the Vikings, so it makes sense that her first opera should be about the culture that she loves, that inspired what she feels is the single greatest country that has ever existed in the history of humanity. This is a story of the early Vikings imagined through a Viking's eyes. This is at the time of Leif Erikson when the Vikings were traveling across to discover the new world for the first time. This is when the new world of the Christian Vikings was first beginning to infiltrate the old Viking gods of war like Odin, who had their black wings. This is the story of Voland, our hero. He is a captured new Christian warrior. He is still contemplating what all of this the way is about. There is no Bible. There is nothing. There is only his following of Christ. 
He is fascinated with the idea, the one concept that this Jesus of Nazareth has presented. And that is something that is totally foreign to a Viking, forgiving not only your friends, but your enemy. That is what he grapples with throughout this entire opera. Volan is a blacksmith. He is captured by the great king Conan, the, the great king of all the Vikings. They have taken him and put him in captivity. He is a mighty blacksmith and is a very talented asset for their side. They have taken him out to a small island and they have chained him in a cavern to a great forge. And there he makes armaments and very fine jewelry for the royal ladies of the court. Our heroine is Bodville and our hero is Voland. They will be a Viking Romeo and Juliet, if you will. This first piece that we hear, this is where Bodville, the daughter of the great King Conan, first sees a Volund. He has been tortured. They will torture him and they will hobble him by cutting the tendons on the back of his feet. He had plans to fly away because his craftsmanship is so great that secretly, one at a time, he will remove one link from each chain that imprisons him and he is, his skill is so great that he will fashion out a panel of great wings that he plans to fly away from this island with Icarus style. This is when Bodeville first sees and falls in love with the great Volan.
Goldfield's father, Coleman, has forced our blacksmith, Bowen, to make one of the most exquisite rings that has ever been made in the history of man at this point. He presents it to his beloved daughter, Bolville. She promptly takes it and drops it under the hoof of a horse and tears it all to pieces. She knows the wrath of the evil Conan, her father, if he discovers this. She places her coat on, she rows out under cover of secrecy to the island, and here she meets Bolan at his forge for the first time.
dates in the opera come and go, under cover of secrecy, Bolin, little by little, repairs the ring and takes it beyond its former beauty into a whole new realm. It is the most beautiful ring now that anyone has ever seen. This is when he presents the ring back to Beauville finally after much agonizing work and under secret, uh, they, they exchange their secret vows of love and their undying affection for each other.
we turn to the realm of art song once again to wrap up the evening. This is set on a poem by Thomas Carey. Uh, Sophia was inspired by a collection of old English poems that was given to her. This is song, Jeff Walton.
This is about the fleeting nature of all things around us in the world. The only thing that is eternal is love. Oh.